now a special treat, Sports Center before the playoffs. Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Packers walk away with a commanding 19-point win. Like they're beginning good spot. The Bills lost this one, but will stay at number three in the AFC. Oh, 27 turnovers. Michael Clayton had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. In a long-standing oh, record, the Chiefs win their Jeez, tenth man. game of the season. Jeez, man. In the gentle climbs of the Carolinas, we had the Panthers throw away with a 14-point win. Roy Williams pulled down a hundred plus receiving yards to the Lions beat the Titans. But, but. Colts. Broncos. I think the Colts are definitely in the playoffs. James Mungro set to receive the kick. Oh Sorry, Broncos. Gets to his own eight-yard line. Just wants some breathing room for the offense. Makes a move there. Oh, what a crack! Fast block at the forty. What a move at the other forty. <coughs> this is picture perfect. He cut uh, all the uh, way for the two yards. Twelve and four. Wow. Win this one by the final Brr, score. I picked up game five times. Thirteen. We won. Over in Rouse on the we had the Redskins clobber their way to a 30 point win. Minnesota. The Jaguars got 300 plus yards from their offense in their victory at Oakland. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has okay. the Bengals won on the road and end their season on a high note. Wow. They make the sense. Falcons lost this one, but will stay at number one in the NFC South. Wow. We had a big trade off. Oh, man. Year. And a nice catch at the back of the end zone for Chip. Why did you tackle the losses? Okay, that's fine. The final fine. score of 24 to 20. Donnie Abraham stepped it up this week. Jets. And gave his team some added fire. Playoffs. We had the Patriots bring out their whooping sticks and cruise to a 42-point win. Is that the worst? In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Giants win their ninth game of the year. We had Texans won. So oh, this is what... Back. Texans and Browns were so close. Whoa, look how tight Lions and Eagles were. The Saints got the sixth spot. Oh, brother. That was so close. Especially in the NFC. Michael Vick, without a doubt, is going to take home the hardware in this one. You see the numbers on your screen, but numbers really don't tell the whole story. Leadership, work ethic, love of the game, that's what truly makes him stand. Air McNair. Air McNair. choice for Offensive Player of the Year. And you've got to be hard pressed to find better numbers than that. Obviously. How about Corey Jones running touchdowns, buddy? This is the guy that was driving the guys that can really interception either the run or the pass. But this guy this is too cheap. Well. What a year he had. Then Roethlisberger comes. Okay, this is a special wildcard edition. We'll, we'll see who won and who New England has to play. And then I'll tell you whether or not I face them. Our game this week, he had the Vikings oh. throw away with a 14-point win. Tory James oh, had a stellar awesome. game, but all said and done, his performance was right on the Mississippi River in St. Louis. See, we had the Vikings come away with a 7-point win. Wow. And in our final the game, we had the, the 